folks, it's great to be back with another guitar tutorial. So let's learn how to play Independence Day by Elliot Smith. A couple quick notes um, for really advanced players. I know this is going to be kind of slow paced, um, but I like to be accessible to people that aren't quite as advanced. So I plan on making a whole separate video. It's just a playthrough along with the tab um, that's a, at a slightly slower tempo than the original song. So if you're good at reading tabs um, and are pretty advanced, you might just be able to skip to that. And I also hope to get some links posted in the comments that'll help navigate to different sections within this lesson. So, um, first thing to know about this song is that it's not in standard tuning. It is in an open C tuning. So that is C, G, C, C, E, C. So why don't you get tuned up? Lovely open strum there. And while you're tuning, I will just say that this is an extremely difficult song to learn. So um, it might take a lot and a lot of practice and I will be rooting for you and cheering you on and with you in spirit. And I encourage you to, um, to go for it if you have the stamina to do so. Um, it's gonna feel really amazing once you get it down. So, with that said, let's jump into the tab. All right, so first let's look at the position of our left hand. So, we're gonna start with our pinky on the 10th fret of the high E, pointer on the eighth fret of the B, and ring finger on the um, 10th fret of the G string. Okay. So then um, let's quickly talk about timing. So this, um, this is in like swung eighth notes. So um, if the tempo is going like this, we're going to count it like this. We'll go one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. So the, the uh, um, isn't quite evenly spaced like normal eighth notes. It's a little bit delayed. So that's what a swing feels like. Um, so with our picking hand, um, our thumb is gonna, gonna be alternating. It's gonna be hitting on the downbeat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it's gonna be alternating between the D string and the G string. Um, and then, with my pointer finger, I'm going to assign it to the B string. So, for this first part of the intro, at least, um, anything listed on the B string is going to be hit with my pointer. And then, anything on the high E string is going to be hit with my middle finger. Okay. So let's actually look at the second measure first, because um, that's easy to kind of repeat and get the feel of what's happening. So um, first we hit the, the D string, so that's our thumb, then the high E string, which is our middle finger, then our thumb, then our pointer. And then we do that again. Thumb, middle, thumb on the G, pointer. And then the timing is going to feel like this. We'll go a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. A. We'll just repeat that for a little bit to get the feel. We're on that second measure. So three, four, one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. A. All right. So um, that's kind of the timing feel for this whole first part of the intro. 
Um, so let's go back to measure one. It's almost the same, but we um, our first hit is a, a whole note. So then on beat two, we hit with our thumb and our middle finger at the same time. Okay. And our left hand still for the whole first three measures doesn't change. So, um, we go one, two, and then a pointer hit. And then the next half of this measure is the same as we did before. Um, thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. So that measure goes three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a... We'll do that again. Three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a... Okay. Then we did the second measure. Three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a... The third measure's basically the same, but we just um, don't hit with our pointer at the very end. Three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay. So then we move on um, to the next measure. We hit our, we're going to move our left hand. Um, I'm going to bar the 10th fret, um, just the t highest three strings with my pointer and I'm gonna add the my middle finger to the 11th fret of the high E string. Um, and then it's the same pattern with our picking hand. Three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a... Do that one more time. Three, a four, a one, a two, All right, so for that next measure, um, you see there's a, a 12 fret on the high E string, an 11, and then a 12 on the B string. So for that, my left hand is gonna have my ring finger um, on the 12th fret of the E. Then I'm gonna move to my middle finger for the 11th fret, and then I'm gonna put my ring finger back on the 12th fret of the B. And then, looking ahead to the next measure, my um, pointer finger is going to be ready to bar the highest three, the highest four strings on the tenth fret. Okay. Um, so let's do that measure. Um, we'll go three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. A... Okay. Then my pointer bars the 10th fret of the highest four strings and we go one um one so that's a whole note so on beat two we go two a three a four okay so our right hand's still doing the same thing thumb on the D and G string, other fingers on those higher strings. Um, then we drop to barring the eighth fret with our left hand. And then you can see um, halfway through the measure, basically our pinky is gonna go on the 12th fret of the B string. So we go three, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a... Then let's look at the next measure. Um, the timing goes one, a two, three, a four. And with our left hand, we're on that barred eighth fret still of, of the highest four strings. Um, but then we're gonna move to the seventh fret and we're gonna move, put our middle finger on the 
eighth fret of the G string and our ring finger on the ninth fret of the B string. Okay, so we go back to barring the eight. We go one, a two, then we move our hand three, a four. So then we go to barring the fifth fret of the highest four strings and our um, ring finger is going to hit the seventh fret of the high E. So we go one, a two, a three, and then we take our ring finger off, a four, and then we're going to put our ring finger on the seventh fret of the B string, and we're gonna hammer on to the eighth fret with our pinky. Okay, to go into that next measure. And at the same time as we hit our pinky on that, we also hit with our thumb on the D string, which is barring that fifth fret. Okay, so let's do up to that hammer on with three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay, then um, so we hit that hammer on, and then I hit the high E string. Um, we have a thumb hit on the G string, um, and then we move our our uh, pointer finger of our left hand up to the seventh fret. Um, for that B string hit. And then we hit with our thumb on the D string and put our middle finger of our left hand on the eighth fret of the G string. Um, so then we're, then our right hand pointer has to jump up to that G string. Um, and we hit with our pointer, and then we hit it with our thumb. Okay. And then we take our left hand middle finger off and hit the G string with our pointer again. Okay. So um, let's go back to the beginning of that measure. We're on the fifth fret and we just hammered on to the eighth fret of the B string with our pinky. So we go one, a two, then we move up to the seventh fret. Okay. Then we move our left hand up one fret to the eighth fret. We're going to put our ring finger on the 10th fret of the high E string and we hit um, our thumb and our pointer finger of our right hand at the same time on the D and G strings. And then um, our pointer finger moves back to the B string and our thumb hits the G string and our middle finger hits that 10th fret oops, of the uh, high E string. And then we do a normal thumb pointer and our thumb stays on the D string. And then we take our whole left hand off for that last note. And that next measure is just a open strum. Okay, so um, let's go back to the beginning of that previous measure where we're on the eighth fret. Okay, and we play the D and G string 
Um, at the same time, three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a... And then for that open chord, we actually kind of with our thumb hit the bass note and then strum down, up, down, up. So it's going to sound like from that previous measure, three, a four, a. Okay. So that's the first half of the intro, basically. Then we look at the next measure, and we're still in an open chord. Okay. And um, you can see we're going to be on the 11th fret of the high E. And we're going to hit that, and then we're going to bend up a half step. And then we're going to take the bend off and hit the 11th fret again. Now also after we come back out of the bend and hit the 11th fret again, we're going to do another thumb hit too. And then we're going to hit uh, with our, we're going to hit the B string on the 12th fret. Our left hand is going to use our ring finger for that. Um, and then our pointer finger is going to be ready to bar the whole 10th fret. But we're going to keep our left hand ring finger on the 12th fret. Okay. So that whole measure with the bend and everything is going to sound like this. It goes 3, a 4, a 1, 2, a 3, a 4, a... One more time. One, two, a three, a four, a. So for that next measure, we have our pointer barring the 10th fret while leaving the uh, ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string. And we do a, a thumb and then a down strum and up strum. And then we move our pointer finger down to barring the ninth fret while leaving our ring finger on the 12th fret of the B string. And we do another bass and then kind of an, an up, down, up strum. So that measure is going to sound like this. Three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a. Let's do that again. Three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a. And I'm not really playing the high E string with my right hand. So then we're going to move our pointer finger of our left hand to barring the eighth fret. And we're going to um, kind of do a, a thumb and a down strum. And our ring finger then is going to hit the 10th fret of the high E string and then take it off. Um, so we're back to the barred 8th fret. And then we're going to reach our pinky up to the 12th fret of the B string. And after we hit that, we're going to do another thumb hit. And then we're going to take our pinky off of the 12th fret. So we're back to the 8th bar. So it's going to sound like this. 3, a 4, a 1, 2, a 3, a 4, a... Okay, then for the next fret and the next measure, we're still on that bar at 8th and we go a thumb... Um, thumb, up, down, up. Then we move our bar of our left hand out of the seventh fret and add our middle finger to the eighth fret of the G string and our ring finger to the ninth fret of the B string. 
and we do um, a similar thing with our right hand. Bass, up, down, up. So that measure goes on the eighth fret. Three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a. So then we're gonna move our barred pointer finger onto the fifth fret. And um, we're gonna be putting our ring finger on the seventh fret of the high E string. And we're gonna be taking it off to go back to the fifth fret. And then we're gonna put it back to the seventh fret of the B string. And then looking ahead at the next measure, we're gonna hammer on to the eighth fret. And our thumb, um, at the beginning of that, that measure, we're gonna do like a thumb and a down strum. And then um, when we, our thumb's gonna keep hitting. It's gonna sound like this. Three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a. So it's gonna hit on um, beats one, three, four, one, three, and four. So let's do that whole measure again. Three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a. Then we hammer on to the eighth fret and then play the fifth fret. So, and then we hit, um, our thumb again and then we slide our pointer up to the seventh fret and we kind of do an up strum starting on the on the B string and then we hit the seventh fret of the low E string and then we do um, this little thing where we, we put our middle finger on the eighth fret of the G string. Um, and then hit it twice and take it off. So from the beginning of that measure, um, we just hammered on to the eighth fret and then we move up to the seventh fret bar to the eighth fret and we do a like thumb up down strum and hit the tenth fret of the high E string and then we quickly move our left hand way down Whoosh. this is a hard transition um, I use my pinky on the high, third fret of the high E string B strings open, and then my ring finger on the third fret of the G, and middle finger on the third fret of the D. And then you take it off. So again, that measure, we start on the eighth fret, and it goes three, a four, a one, a, sorry. Three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one. Okay. Then we have two nice and easy measures of just an open strumming. So it goes thumb down, up down, up thumb. So that next measure, we still start in the open chord and we do a little thumb down up. Then with our ring finger and middle finger, we kind of slide into the fifth fret of the A string and into the B string. Whoops. Okay. 
And then we keep that position basically, but move it to the fourth fret for that next measure. And then the second fret, and then we're off. And the strumming for that kind of goes um, uh, like a down, a uh, kind of bass focused hit, then a down, up, bass, down, up. Then when we get to the second fret, it's just kind of a one hit and one hit on the open. Okay, so let's go over those two measures. So it's bass, down, up, slide in, bass. time. Three, a uh, four, a uh. Okay, and then last chord of the intro pretty much. So it's just an E shape if we were in standard tuning. Okay, so that's the end of the intro that's where he starts singing so let's go through and just play that whole intro all the way through at a nice easy tempo one a two a three a four a one a two a three a four So thanks for joining me in part one, learning the intro to the song. Um, we'll have a link here to part number two, which will cover the rest. And then there will be another video for a full playthrough. Uh, keep that practice up. Good luck and hope you have fun with it. See ya.